What's up guys, it's Patrick here. A uh, little bit of a different video for me tonight. I'm uh, going to submit a contest entry for Dally VH and Big Munoz 11's contest. Um, I've never done contests in the past, mainly because I'm Canadian and uh, most contests don't ship to Canada, so um, it'd be redundant for me to enter. So. I, uh, where their competition is international, uh, I figured why not, uh, let's give it a shot, uh, give them guys some uh, exposure to my subscribers, and, uh, you know, it's the whole reason for the contest is to get more exposure and, and for them to be able to get back to the aquarium world, so here it goes. Um, so for the contest topic, uh, what, uh, problems am I facing in my tank and what could correct them? Um, so the problem I'm facing in my tank right now, as you can see, I've got a little bit of an algae issue, um, and it doesn't look so bad now because I've done a lot of cleaning. Don't want tetra, I like him to get in the way of there. Uh, i got some of my plants there, uh, my Ludwigia there, took a hard go of it. <laughs> Looking a bit better now that I've cleaned it some, somewhat. Uh, some of my Agrophilia polysperma back there. Um, and my jungle valve, it's got a bit there too. So anytime you get algae, most Aquarius know that um, it's usually due to inconsistencies in your tank. Um, and I think my biggest inconsistency right now, aside from CO2, would be my lighting. Um, so in my past videos, my subscribers would probably know that I have been pushing these um, clip-on desk lamps uh, for a cheap option for lighting for us younger guys with um, doing aquariums on a budget but um, they're fine for small aquariums but I'm finding with this larger aquarium now that I've upgraded to this 50 gallon um, I've, I'm finding that it provides inconsistent lighting and you can kind of see on the camera here uh, right there right there um, you can see light patches of uh, focused light and then there's shadowed areas where in between the lights where the lights can't really cover and I'm finding that this is providing inconsistencies in the tank um, I used to dose Flourish Excel for a while and I had to stop because um, the just the inconsistencies were causing black hair allergy to form on the plants and such so I stopped dosing and uh, I reduced my photo period drastically and I'm finding that my plants are kind of looking straggly right now. They're they're looking a bit better once now that I've done about three water changes in three days. Um, but normally they look pretty straggly, and uh, I, I think it's due to the non-linear uh, pattern of lighting. Um, whereas you know, I'd like to ultimately purchase a, a dual or a quad T5 lighting fixture, such as the Odyssey fixture. Um, so that I can provide even lighting right across the tank, not just one, two, three, four focused uh, spots of light. So yeah, a new lighting fixture would definitely provide a uh, cut down on the inconsistencies in my tank and uh, it would definitely um, better uh, my plant to tank experience, no doubt. So yeah, there's my problem. Um, you know, as a as a Big Munoz 11, and Dolly VH have said, um, you know, nobody's tank is perfect, and I think that's what makes this hobby uh, interesting. I think a perfect tank um, takes the fun out of the hobby. Um, I mean, the more money you spend, you can spend thousands of dollars on a tank and probably, yeah, have a perfect tank. Um, but at the end of the day, it's the uh, picking around at the equipment and and mucking up DIYs and um, trying and failing uh, different things is what makes this hobby uh, as fun as it is. So I'd like to thank Big Munoz 11 and Dolly VH for creating this um, contest. I think it's a great idea um, and I hope everybody submits an entry just so those guys can get more exposure, uh, hit a wider subscriber base than they've already achieved. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And, uh, yeah, just figure out what's going on with your tanks and submit a video to them. Uh, they'd like to see a lot of entries. Um, as I said, nobody's tank is perfect, so there's your chance to, uh, to fix one of those things. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.